To advertise with us, donate sponsorships and suggestions. Email us at trendafricatv at gmail.com or call us on 773-312-0318 or 773-756-6678. Remember to also follow and like us as Trend Africa TV on Facebook so you can always catch us live. On Instagram as Trend Africa TV 123 or subscribe to our YouTube channel as Trend Africa TV and click on the notification button to watch previous shows. You can also visit our website for your African news, entertainment, fashion and sports updates on www.trendafricaonline.net. Trend Africa TV, redefining Africa. pandemic, the organizers of the Ghana Music Awards USA are set to host the virtual nominees announcement for the 2020 awards as we patiently await the biggest night in the history of Ghanaian music. Mm-hmm. 
The official nominee's announcement for the Ghana Music Awards USA comes off live on Kofi TV and its affiliate media partners on 11 July 2020. Time is 7 p.m. GMT. Performing live, when you shake. SV Kofi Sample. One. Them say we know they do nothing, <laughs> but then they like our thing. Eh? Divorce the age. Moses, Attentive Care Incorporated, Happy Man Bitters, Gold Coast Restaurant and Bar, TBWA Maccom, KTA Mobile, Van Dosh, Rhythm Africa, Angel Broadcasting Network, Accra Metropolitan Assembly, McDonald's and T Mobile, American Embassy, supported by. Ghana Embassy, Media Partners, Kofi TV, Despite Media, Accra FM, Magrahe, Big Scout TV, Creative House, Media General, Home Base TV, Avon Base. The Ghana Music Awards USA, who gets nominated? This event is brought to you by Dawn's Music Production, Hot Life Media, and 2G's Entertainment. Ghana Music Awards 2020, celebrating our culture. Music and our stars. Tell him no Corona in a voice that they To advertise with us, donate sponsorships and suggestions. Email us at trendafricatv at gmail.com or call us on 773-312-0318 or 773-756-6678. Remember to also follow and like us at Trend Africa TV on Facebook so you can always catch us live. On Instagram as Trend Africa TV 123 or subscribe to our YouTube channel as Trend Africa TV and click on the notification button to watch previous shows. You can also visit our website for your African news, entertainment, fashion and sports updates on www.trendafricaonline.net. Trend Africa TV, redefining Africa. What's up, people? It's your boy, Royal Black Jesus, a.k.a. RBJ. Today's Wednesday. You know what time is it? Uh, it's RBJ Show Entertainment Review. Today we have in the building, in the house, on the lock, all the way. I mean, this is one of the legends that you can ever have on your platform. By the name, the original, the one and only, the godfather of our life. Mr. Ben Bracco will be on the log with us. But before that, let me say good afternoon to all of you guys. When you come on the page, make sure you share the page because today we're going to rub some shoulders. We're going to rub shoulders with the legend. We're going to know from the beginning to today. So, hey, stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Remember, share the page and stay put. We're going to play our music and then when we come back, we will dive in and introduce our guest today. The original, the one and only, the legend, Mr. Ben Bracco, will be on the lock with me, RBJ, Royal Black Jesus. Still hold on, tune. I'm the one that's already natural. I mean, 
some shoulders with this legend we're gonna know about him from day one to now let's welcome the one and only mr ben Bracco. uncle ben where the hello at the door I, 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 I really don't speak the tree very well, so it will mix the tree and then the English. I mean, being a Ghanaian, yeah, that's what it, uh, what, not, I'm from, from life. <laughs> you know, we're cool, we're cool here. Uh, that's good, that's good. So, I'm gonna tell us about you. Uh, who is Uncle Ben Branco? I mean, those who have never, you know, you know, I know your music, I've met you. For me, I'll know, I'll know a little bit about you. Um, please tell us how when. Somebody's watching you for the first time. It will be like, who is this young old man or this legend? I mean, tell <laughs> us about Mr. Ben Bracco. Well, basically, if, if you don't know me, then go and do your research. But my name is Ben Bracco. Yeah. And I'm just me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ben, let's start okay, from, I'm a high let's musician. Let's start from your educational background. I mean, from High school, okay. uh, I mean, I think we went to St. Augustine's and things like that. Tell us about St. Augustine's. Yeah. Well, okay, let, let me tell you about my schooling because, you know, it's, uh, there's a strange story there because, you know, before going to St. Augustine's, because of my father's work, I, I attended um, over 10 schools all over Ghana before I went to St. Augustine's, before I went to secondary school, okay? Wow. With secondary school, there was stability because, you know, uh, it's a boarding school, so I didn't have to. Um, I could always go to, for holidays and come back to school. But, you know, in the uh, elementary school system, I had to move around a lot. So I schooled in Adeso, Accra, Cape Coast, Takwadi, Winneba, everywhere, you know. So I went to 10 schools, including St. George Preparatory and Primary. You know, so uh, from there, I went to um, uh, Kislefo School in, in, in Takrali. Then I went to Don Bosco in Winneba. Then I went to practice school in Cape Coast, where I sought my common entrance. And then I went to St. Augustine's College in Cape Coast. 
So it uh -huh. go on. <laughs> but I'm, just, I'm just loving it. <laughs> so actually, it was his little guesses that when I went to Form One at uh, Saturday Night Entertainment, my brother volunteered me to entertain this, my fellow students by singing. So they called me, you know, it was a big surprise, but, you know, I was brave enough to get up and go and, and sing, you know, to my fellow students. And then they formed the school group about two or three years later, and were looking for a vocalist. So they remembered that I sang and they liked the way I sang. So they came and asked me if I would like to sing for the school group. And I said, sure, of course. So that was my first experience of like, dealing with an organized group, you know, uh, being part of a group, because I used to sing solo. I mean, I always loved singing, so I would get up and sing. So uh, I joined the, the group, uh, the initial group was called uh, Chelsea Five, and then uh, there were so many groups, so the school decided that it should be one big group that represented Slogessens, and they called it uh, Famous Flames, and I was a singer. We had so many members like uh, Chick Ferret, uh, Patrick Kujo, who is now a, a professor at Washington in Washington. Uh, we had um, people like uh, <laughs> uh, Reggie Sawyer, the late uh, Willis Augustino Wusu. We mm -hmm. had Henry Mesa Brown. We had Francis Bafo on drums, you know. And, you know, basically that, that was the group, the famous Flames. Of course, we had uh, Bella, Jagabella, also singing, you know, because he, he liked, he could do the James Brown and the shouting and all that. Me, I was I was a cool guy singing the Otis Reddings and, you know, the, the soft, you know, chilling tracks, you know. <laughs> so, Uncle, do you, um, those people that you formed the group with, or oh, they formed a the group and they call you in, are they still doing music? Do you, do you, do you remember some of them? Are they, are you guys still connected? Well, we are, we're still connected, but, you know, none of them took up music professionally like the way I did, you know. But, you know, some of them are still very, like, uh, you know, so musical that they, they still keep up their, you know, musicianship, you know, but they don't necessarily, like, practice it, you know, like, professionally. Because, like, like I told you, some of them are professors. One of, one of my initial, um, when we formed the Chelsea Five, the guitarist, uh, it's called Professor Herbert Wilfo. And, you know, he's a big engineering professor, you know, uh, in Boston somewhere, uh, an Arbor, you know. So, I mean, but he still keeps up his music. He plays the keyboard, the piano, you know, once in a while when they have, uh, like, functions, you know, they will ask him to come up and play the keyboard, and he will. So, you know, the people are all musical, actually. Yeah. Wow. But, but not professionally like me. <laughs> so when you when when did you have it in you or when did you decide to take it take it serious? I mean, um, I mean, I know in the high school days it's just to get the girls and be popular and all that. But when did you decide like this is it? No, with me it was never to get the girls. I was getting the girls anyway. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I didn't I didn't need the music to get the girls. You know. Um, because I always loved singing, even when I was a little child, you know. So it's something that I always took seriously. I couldn't help it, to mm -hmm. be honest with you. It's not something that I had to make a decision, you know. It's something, I like they say, I would do even if I wasn't being paid for it. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. So, like, I'm living my dreams. Wow. University yeah. days. I mean... Uh -huh. Everybody got to know you, and I mean, during the university days, and I mean, you you form a group and things like that. I was really a little bit about you. Can you tell us a little bit about those stories? Well, yeah, those were <laughs> idyllic days. They were beautiful, beautiful days, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I remember. But you know, one of the things I always I had a guitar in my room, and I was always strumming and playing and singing for my friends and stuff. So I started writing my songs, you know, my songs started coming to me and I, I would, I would uh, work on them until, and then write the lyrics and everything until I was happy. So in my final year, I thought that, look, I think 
let me let me form a group and then try out my songs and see if people will like them. Because my friends like them, but your friends will like whatever you do anyway. That's right. So I formed a group called Agroma Guduriba. We had people like uh, Victor Larson, um, who is now the owner of Star Oil in Ghana. Uh, we had Agu Aye, we had uh, Set Bozogbe, and uh, uh, you know, a few others. Okay, so we formed a group. We played only my songs, okay, apart from one or two Ifrimamu tracks. <clears throat> and uh, we played only two gigs, okay? Mm. That was my final year in Legon. And the thing is, four or five years after Legon, people still remembered the, some of the songs we played. Wow. So I'll, I'll go out to a club or to a party or to a function, and then those who were at the show, some of them will start singing the song. That was amazing. You understand? That's right. You know, because... No, the, the only time they heard a song, because it had not been recorded, was at, at, at the one or two shows. Mm. Okay, most of them would have been at only one show, and they could still remember the song. So I said, this must be good. But, I, you know, after Legon, I was in the corporate world. I went to, um, I was teaching Nachimota. I taught Nachimota for a year. Then I went into shipping. You know, I was in the corporate world, you know, doing commodities <clears throat> and stuff. But after a while, I, I, I found that I was not, That's not living my, my, my life, you know, the way <laughs> I wanted it. I had everything, but I was still not contented. And then it struck me that <clears throat> if I don't do music and record my songs, one day when I'm old like I am now, <laughs> I will look back and regret <laughs> And you know, I don't, I didn't want any regrets. So I decided at the point I was at the height of everything, but I just decided to give everything up and go into music. See, that's how stupid and crazy I can get. Mm. You know, I gave a lot up just to be a musician, and it wasn't for the girls. I was already married then. <laughs> so <laughs> you understand. So that's that's how I got into music professionally. Yeah. I actually had to move from Ghana because yes. I couldn't find a way to do it in Ghana. Mm. So I went, I went to England, I went to London, and then um, <clears throat> uh, had a clean slate, start all over again. And so I did that, yeah. So that, that is where you, you dropped your first album, right? England. That's where I recorded my first album, yeah. A, a buyer or the, which one is the first? Uh, yeah, buyer. Buyer. Yes. My, my, my wife is calling. Can I answer? Yes. Let, let, oh, let she's going. We'll come back then. <laughs> 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 it's better to answer the wife. It's better to answer the wife. So we'll take a, a, a conversation. Hey! The Ghana Music Awards USA. Who gets nominated? Are you ready? Hey, Ghana, Samuel. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the organizers of the Ghana Music Awards USA are set to host the virtual nominees announcement for the 2020 awards as we patiently await the biggest night in the history of Ghanaian music. The official nominees announcement for the Ghana Music Awards USA comes off live on Coffee TV and its affiliate media partners on 11 July 2020. Time is 7 p.m. GMT. Performing live, when you shake. SB Coffee Sample. One. Them say we know they do nothing, <laughs> but them they like our thing. Eh. Divorce the age. Moses, Attentive Care Incorporated, Happy Man Bitters, Gold Coast Restaurant and Bar, TBWA Maccom, KTA Mobile, Van Dosh, Rhythm Africa, Angel Broadcasting Network, Accra Metropolitan the Assembly, McDonald's and T-Mobile, American Embassy, supported by Ghana Embassy, Media Partners, Kofi TV, Despite Media, Accra FM, Magrahe, Big Scout TV, Creative House, Media General, Home Base TV, Airborne Base. 
the Ghana Music Awards USA. Who gets nominated? This event is brought to you by Dawn's Music Production, Hot Life Media, and 2G's Entertainment. Ghana Music Awards 2020, celebrating our culture, music, and our stars. Yes, we are back again. I mean, amazing conversation with the legend, Mr. Ben Bracco. And then we have a little quick break because Mr. Ben Bracco, the legend, have to speak to the wife. You know how it is. <laughs> Always <laughs> is good to speak to the wife. So, Mr. Ben Bracco, you're back on, on board. Um, where, were, where were we? I mean, we were talking about your first album via, uh, you drop it when you're in London. I mean, tell us the story yeah. about it because um, that's what people were saying that you, you never did music. I mean, you did music in Ghana. You started from Ghana, but uh, you never officially did do anything in Ghana. But only, I mean, you, you dropped your first single in London. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, in Ghana, I was in the corporate world. And, you know, it was very separate from the music world in Ghana. And I was finding it more and more difficult to uh, interact with the music world. So I decided to give it a clean break and go into music. And the only way I could do it was uh, to, to get out of the situation I was in. So I went to London um, and then started working you know, purely as a musician, you know. And uh, so I recorded the album. But these, these are tracks that I wrote, like I'm telling you, when I was in Legon. Most of the tracks on the album via were tracks that I wrote when I was in Legon. So, I mean, you know, by the time I, I recorded them, they were quite old and mature in, in, for me, you understand? But, right. you know, they were, yeah. So I went into the recording studio. I first did one single called uh, One Man No Chop, which uh, <laughs> just to get to know how the ropes, you know, how, how to handle the ropes for recordings and stuff. Mm. So I did that single, and you know, some people who heard it in Ghana really loved it. Like I remember the late uh, Carl Ajiman Baraman, who was one of Ghana's top uh, radio DJs. You know, really loved it, and you know, couldn't stop talking about it. Mm. So uh, that was my learning curve, you know, to get into music. Then I decided to go in and record Bayer. So. Um, that's what I did. And then uh, when I released it, you know, it was like... I mean, that was one of the yeah. classic... Yeah. Of the hard like... life I've ever... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. With Baya, it's, it's... I mean, the rhythm... I mean, at that time, you know, I was young, but mm -hmm. you know, when I'm... You know, some of the songs I'm listening to it now and... and, and like the likes of uh, Charles Amwa, they, they came up with the, the, the they call it the Boga Life or something like that. They have this funky style. To yeah. Them. But with yours, you still maintain the indigenous traditional hard life beat. Why so? Why didn't you wave to that Boga Hard Life rhythm? Well, I've always believed that um, hard life should uh maintain and cling to its origins in fact i have i have formed a uh non-profit organization called the high life institute oh, wow. just to uh, just to ensure that just to uh to work hard to make sure that high life retains its original form you know becomes become less uh synthetic and more organic it's okay so that we still have the base for forever from which to derive the inspiration to create her life you understand because music was beginning to morph you know we had a uh, funky her life we had reggae her life we had all kinds of her life so in the end you know her life was getting lost you know but anyway for me i always had the inspiration uh to do Original music. I think my music have has had to reflect me as a person and my origins and where I come from. I can't be a Ghanaian of proper standing and then start doing pop music. 
Mm. You understand? Uh -huh. For for me to be to feel that you know um, I am okay, I have to, my music has to reflect who I am and from whence I come. So it was always going to be hard life, even though in my youthful days when I was a teenage pop star, we sang Beatles, James Brown, Otis Redding. You know, you name it. You understand? Mm. You know, because those days, like. Everybody thought that you know uh, you had to be to be avant-garde, to be offer, to be trendy. You had to do foreign music, and, and a lot of my mates wouldn't even listen to her life because they thought it was uh, mm. you know, <laughs> you know. But I, I when I went to Legon, my my ideas changed a lot and. You know, my my instincts told me that you know it's how life that came to me anyway. To be honest with you, sometimes I don't know how the songs come, but they come, and when they come, they come with their own force, and I have to do them. Wow! So, uh -huh. and that I've made I've made your music very classic, though. I mean, because when you li listen to the Bayam uh, album, I, I don't believe me. People that have listened to that album will not throw any one song out. I believe that all the songs are great. And and it keep on. I mean, it, every time when you play it, it refresh your mind. I mean, it's it's like an old wine. Like I, I think that you want to you want to sip, so you can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, just just wetting my throat, you know. <laughs> that is Mr. Ben for He's just doing him. I mean, I, I met this young man and. Uh, I just love hanging around with him. I mean, the last year Ghana Fest was just amazing. Uh, you blow people's mind. You bring the culture back. I mean, you can see the old folks doing their thing, doing their rock and roll, doing their dancing. And I mean, this is what we call, uh, you know, mix of young, old and new. And I think last year Ghana Fest made it, made it for us. Um, you still have the energy. What keeps you younger? I mean, when I don't want to mention your age here, but people can... Google your age and they can tell that you are still looking fresh and good. What keeps you so young? Um, life <laughs> and love. I mean, listen, uh, growing old is something that you can't help, but mentally you don't have to agree with it. You don't have to go with it. You, you, you should always keep your, a bit of your youth with you because it's part of your experience. You know, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I just, I just feel so alive. You know, ages has nothing to me until, until my bones are rotting and I can't move. <laughs> are, are, are you a phobia supporter? Until the bones are rotting. I'm oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> phobia is okay. You know, but I'm, I'm not a fanatic. So what, what, of what, anyone what, what, what team did you support in Ghana or maybe England? Oh, I mean, I used to like Cape Coast Wolves because they were local I'm to I'm me, local but, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't a fanatic, you know. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a fanatic. I don't say, some people say, what type of music do you like? Right. I like all. So long as it's good, they say, what type of food do you like? I say, if, it's, if it tastes great, I will eat it mm. and I will enjoy it. If it doesn't taste good, whether it's Ghana food or whatever food, I won't eat it. Mm. It's got to be good. If it's good, I love it. Nice. That's me. That's Mr. Brent Branco for you. When you come on the page, make sure you share the page because you want this very interview to go viral. Nobody have got that chance to interview a legend like that for a whole, uh, I mean, 30 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half. It never happened before. But, you know, the connection that I have with this man, it's just amazing. So he have actually given me that time to do that. So we are diving in to get to know who Mr. Ben Bracco is. So when you come in, make sure you share the page. Mr. Ben, um, Uncle Ben, let's talk more about, before I would, I, I'll go deeper to certain things that I've heard. How do you see the Ghana music now? I mean, compared to the, the old, your, your time and then now, how do you see the music now? Before then, we'll talk about um, um, the, 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 the hard life journals that we are playing. It, it's, it's really, 
there's a lot of change to it. And, 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 but tell me what you think about the music now. I mean, the, the, the industry that we are running. Well, I mean, like most things in Ghana, the music is in a, a flux. It's in a state of, um, it, it is unsettled because even Ghana itself is unsettled. You know, mm. we don't even know who we are. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's very troubling, but a lot of people don't seem to realize that the state of Ghana is very troubling mm. because we don't know whether we want to be Ghanaians want to be traditional, want to be Europeans or Americans or Chinese. You know, it's like, you know, anything goes. But, you know, we come from a very rich tradition, uh, which is deeply steeped in, you know, great philosophy and, and appreciation of nature and life. And we don't seem to appreciate that. You know, we are prepared to put that down and follow fool's gold all over the place. Mm. You know, so um, uh, it's it's reflected in everything about us, including our music. You know, it's gotten so bad that nowadays, you know, uh, <laughs> people actually voting for um, uh, artists who are doing reggae and, you know, all kinds of music as highlight musicians of the year. Mm. For me, that is totally wrong. You see what I mean? Uh, I, I believe that music is dynamic and, you know, it can flow into other music. Yeah, because uh, African music is the original music. You know, mm. it's the original music. So uh, all other music emanated from African music. So ob obviously it can gel. But, you know, her life is the is the mother music of Ghana is the popular music of Ghana and it should be treated as such with that respect mm. you understand me if if you go to England the, the her life is not even uh, part of the scene okay it is considered an exotic thing people don't uh, um, bring out her life and then you know uh, as part of the normal uh, like general, uh, normal course of music in England. In America, it's the same. Everywhere, the people always deal with their Original. traditional music or, you know, their popular music. But in Ghana, it's like open to all. Her life is considered on the same level as reggae, as jazz, as pop, as hip hop, as everything. You know, it's because still we haven't defined ourselves who the hell are we? Mm. You know what I'm saying? We have a big issue in with that in Ghana today. So it's it's a free for all. And uh, we, we will talk about this more later. But I mean, you asked me a specific question about the yeah. state of music in Ghana. But I'm very encouraged by the fact that there are a lot of young men coming out with good high life songs. Mm. Okay which hitherto everybody wanted to do hip hop or hip life, okay? And okay, th there is a history to it. So you can understand, if you understand the metamorphosis of the music in Ghana, because after the, uh, during the um, curfew period in Ghana on the Rollins, right. uh, you know, live music died because nobody could go out. So people started working on their computers. At that time, fortunately, there was the digital age coming on. So people started doing all kinds of stuff. And uh, so they followed, they didn't have any examples or uh, heroes in music to copy. So they were copying American music. So they did hip hop and sometimes did hip hop in tree or in, in, in the local language. Then somebody got the idea that you can do hip hop can do rap over her life. And then they, they created hip life. And hip life became very prominent and strong because her life, there was hardly anybody practicing her life. Mm. You understand? So it, it was an evolution based on the, the events and happenings at that period. 
Okay, so it has come full circle now uh, uh, in those terms because we have young people like Kwabla Kwabla, we have um, Kofi Kinata, we have um, okay. Mr. K. David, you know, mm -hmm. doing good hair life. Right. And it's, it's very, very pleasing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you see the thing that these tracks are able to make become big hits and capture the imagination of the country. Mm -hmm. But we should never forget that hair life is our popular <laughs> music. And we should guard it jealously and protect it and project it. Because if anything is going to send our music, uh, into the stratosphere, you know, uh, to the whole world, it's her life. It's not going to be reggae. You can never out reggae the reggae people. Mm. You can never out hip hop the hip hoppers. You know what I mean? Mm. You can never out pop the pop music people. But nobody can challenge you with her life. Mm. Nobody can beat you at her life. So why are you wasting your time? Wow. So, Uncle, are you going to say that? we've lost the steam of music itself when it comes to because what the reason i'm saying that is that our life have become if i should say the third choice of music journal in ghana i mean when you play our life people doesn't really care right now the the, the, the old new school or uh, that i uh, yeah the new school believe in those afro beats and 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 and, and afro Dance style and things like that, and that is what is is. That's I will lose the steam of, of uh, like you said, we, we don't we don't really know ourselves. So, uh, what can we do? What, what should we do? Well, we have to, as a country, re-identify ourselves. We have to be able to define who we are. You see, there's a lot of people who want a crowd to be like New York or London, okay? And that is fine. You know, they say that, oh, people think that we still live in the bushes and in mud huts, but you can see, you can see our crowd. There are all these, you know, skyscrapers and there's all these uh, flyovers. So that means that we, we are a great country. Mm. For me, that is not, that is not, okay, that is fine, but that doesn't make us a great country. Okay. What, what will make us a great country is for us to know who we are as a people, to be able to build in our heritage and tradition that has been honed over thousands of years, okay? And, you know, go, go with our culture and be able to project it to the world for them to see what a beautiful system we have, okay? Uh, what I would like to see is uh, a model village. Right now, if you go to our villages, they're all falling apart. Mm. We say we are we are modern people. Why can't we use the current technology and use our um, raw materials from home and build beautiful villages? Okay, not based on cement, just based on earth, but create something that you see a village and say, "Oh wow, this is beautiful." You can see that in a painting, a beautiful village. You know. Right. With clean, with gardens, with everything. But in reality, we don't have that. All we're focusing on is building Accra, Kumasi, Takwadi as metropolis. Why? Hmm. You see, we cannot, we cannot uh, copy people blind because their focus is different from ours. We need to be a people that everybody counts. We cannot be like, okay, uh, uh, free for all, those who capture it, fine. Those who suffer, fine. Like it, it happens in America here and in UK and, and most other places. We are a different humane people. That's why we get cheated and beating all the time. They steal everything from us. Mm. But now we have to be aware that, we, you know, they've taken too much from us. We have to preserve stuff for the future, for our children, for the unborn. Mm. Because it is our duty to hold what we have and make it better for the future. Not to just give everything away and try to be something else. Mm. So that when they ask your children that where do you come from, they say, your children will say, oh, they say we used to be Africans. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we used to be African. You got to be African. <laughs> you understand me? We used to be Africans. <laughs> That's so funny. 
Um, Uncle, I know our time is very limited, so we, 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 we I mean, we have to have part two on this this thing. But um, let 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 let's look at the music the musical aspect. Uh, uh, recently, I don't know if you heard about it. Some of your colleagues, your 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 musical group colleague, uh, the likes of the Akusa Japans and uh, 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 Rex Oman. I mean, there is something going on. They were fighting and things like that. Do you have any idea about it? And if I mean, I think they will find about musical and maybe something about <laughs> you guys doing music and you are not getting your, your, your uh, royalties right. And I mean, royalties. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, it is part of the general malaise. Um, you're talking about Gamro. Gamro, yes. You know, yeah, royalties collection uh, organization of which um, what do you call it is the, is the head. Um, Rex Oma. Rex Oma, yes. Okay, yeah. Uncle, by the way, are um, you part of that team? Are you part of uh, Ghana? Yeah, yeah, of course. Every, every, every musician in Ghana has to be a part of it, especially those who create music. Sure. Okay, because if you're a songwriter, you have to be a part of it. The reason why but I, the point I, is, ask, I didn't want to cut you off, but, but the reason why I ask, they will, the, 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 most of the things that they will say that you are not part of it, so you can't talk about it. That's what they, they keep on saying. So that's why I ask, are you part of it? So you you are qualified to talk about what is going on in Gamro. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's going on in Gamro is that um, it took a long time for there to be proper legislation about uh, music and copyright and ownership, intellectual property of, of music and the arts. You understand? So now uh, there is the legislation that caters for that. But then it's left with the enforcement. Culturally, uh, people uh, have been taking uh, intellectual property for granted. Mm. And they just use it as if it's, it's free, freeware. You understand? They can play your music anywhere, in hotels, in, in shows, you know, in, in, in bars, wherever, without paying for it. Okay? Uh, radio stations, TV stations are still not paying for the music they use, and they use it on a commercial basis. You understand? They are making money. They are a commercial enterprise, and they, you, you know, hotels, they play the music, they don't pay anything for it. And it's a very difficult thing collecting your royalties from people who use your music. Mm. It's not about people living at home, just enjoying their music or in their cars. No. But it's about where it is applied commercially. That's where they have to give something back. Right. You understand? Uh -huh. So the situation is not easy. Now, uh, uh, and, you know, collecting royalties in Ghana has been a very, very difficult thing. The organizations have not been strong to begin with. The legislation has come very late. And uh, now there is resistance from the industries that use music, you know, to pay the right monies for it. So collection has been very difficult. And in fact, any monies that musicians receive is usually because there's a government uh, grant that goes to cater for these things. So that, there's a big issue there. That's a big issue. I think that, you know, whoever, whoever is in charge has to really Organ, be well organized and enforce the legislation that caters for. So, I mean, radio stations, TV stations have to pay for the music they use, but they have, the amount they have to pay has to be by negotiation so that it's reasonable, it's right. affordable. At least the, the creators of music get their, you know, fair reward. You understand? Uh -huh. mm. So you can create good music if it lasts for a long time. Even in your old age, you've got getting royalties to live on. That's right. Okay, but the, the, you know the the way it is now, people just use it, and then you know when you are not productive anymore, musicians get destitute, mm. and it's musical and stuff have to take care of these people when they are ill or when they when they when they they are deceased and stuff. You know, and it's not a good situation. And it's part of the reason why musicianship is is um, looked down upon, mm -hmm. you know, in Ghana. Huh? So we, we ha there's a lot of work to be done there. But because of that, there's 
all kinds of divisiveness. Everybody thinks that, you know, in Ghana, everybody thinks that <laughs> any professional work is easy. Everybody thinks they can do everything, you know. <laughs> And that's part of the malaise, you know. Wow. So there's all this kind of infighting. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Ben, before we take a break, I want us to touch on uh, one of the legends that fall recently, uh, the uh, 9924. Uh, by, that's the nickname, 9924. Uh, may, may yeah. Rest in peace. Uh, you have rubbed shoulders with him before. I mean, you've known him. And uh, uh, can you tell us a little bit about who 9924 is? Then we can take a break. Well, Nana Tufo is one of the giants of her life, you know, and very a very traditional guy. <clears throat> Nana Tufo really is one of the good people. We lost a, a great guy because, you know, he was, he believed in the humanity and the tradition, okay? And, and uh, there's a typical example where uh, at one time, uh, there was um, an election for the presidency of Musica. And, you know, there were about four contestants, including Obo, Nana Tufo, Jibli Ambule, and uh, this other guy, I forget his name. <laughs> I yeah, still can't remember his uh, name. Uh, uh, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, Namwans the guy passed away. Yes, yeah. Passed away. What's his name? Oh, man. Willie, something, something Willie. Willie yeah, Roy, yeah, Willie Roy. Willie Roy. Willie Roy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I even organized a debate on uh, uh, one of the TV stations, okay, between the, the, the contenders, the contestants for the presidency. And everybody came and spoke, including Obo and, you know, Nana uh, Tufo couldn't make it for that show anyway. But in the end, Obo won, right, mm. and became the president. But the the contestants, especially the Dublé Ambule, never could forget it. And you know, has been dissing of what since then up to now. You mm. know, it's always you know creating confusion and saying all kinds of, you know, it's very a very immature attitude. If I recently I, I was going to sue him in court because he mentioned my name that you know I uh, uh gave me money from music, which is total rubbish, totally untrue, you know? But for him to come out, he's an eld elder musician in Ghana. For him to come out and say that, he has to be able to back it up. Otherwise, you know, a lot of people respect him and give him, right. you know, hair, you know? But it's all because, you know, I don't know, he, he just couldn't take the fact that he lost a war, okay? But Nana Tufo lost Obo. Obo invited all of them to come into the fold and let's make uh, uh, musical great. We all went round, but Willie Roy was absent. Uh, Blay was not only absent, but always trying to knock the wall down. But Nana Tufo came round and helped in any way that he could. He was, because his intention was to help music in Ghana, not just an egotistical stuff. Mm. So I really appreciate him. Yeah, very, very nice guy. You know, whenever you meet him, you see, everybody likes him because he's a very positive guy. Mm. He's not trying to show that he's better than you or he's a big star. Mm. You know, this big star uh, syndrome is, is all nonsense. It's, it's just a greater thing. Wow. Okay. You got to be yourself. <laughs> so, like I said, Nana Tufo, I really appreciate him, and I, I've, I've, I've felt his demise very, very hard. You know, I, I, yeah. I think we've lost, we've lost a real legend. I, I mean, oh yes, yes going back yes. to listen to some of the songs that he actually put out there is just amazing. I just, I mean, the voice, the, I mean, uh, the, 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 everything about the music, the put together. I mean, I mean. And, and that's what we want. I wanted to touch on it. And, and uh, your days that you, you, your days doing music is, is 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 an act. Right now, today's music is just sitting somewhere and then put some computers together. And then I mean, so uh, I, I, last time I was I interviewed one of the um, uh, one of the one I'll, I'll call him the legend of, of our time. I mean, uh, Posse G. He's an engineer. 
uh, he came up with uh, he 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 came with uh, what's the name? The likes of uh, um, Sarko I mean, just name it. He has done that. He's the Tema boy. And then he says something that the olden days music. I mean, the the old music are so heavy than this uh, this type of music because this type of music is more of a pop. He call it the popcorn type of music. You eat it and it's gone. But the old music, you can you can warm it up and then you can feel like it's brand new. What makes it like that? Well, it's it's part of uh, the international trend of what they call uh, disposable whatever. Mm. You know, uh, you you just do things for the short period and that's it. That's that's all your focus. It's all about profitability. It's it is it is monetization of music. As indeed, there, have been, there has been monetization of medicine, everything. In fact, we are getting to the point where they're going to monetize it, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> you know, this is uh, part of the syndrome where people are not more important but profits. Okay, mm. but we come from a culture and a heritage where people are important. Okay, everything is, we have to to serve you, but it's for it's for human beings. Mm. Okay, we'll take a musical break. When we come back, we'll dive in and talk more of politics, religion, and our culture with the original, with the one and only, the legend, Mister, <laughs> the uncle, the one and only, the Nana as well, Mister Ben Braco. <laughs> Uncle, we are still on today. We are having fun with 
one of the legends. I mean, just a going young man. I mean, he doesn't feel old. He said the mind is just that will tell you you are old. It's up to you to you know tune the mind up to say I'm old. He doesn't feel old at all. He feels still young, still you know knocking out the champagne and the good wines. I mean, he's doing oh. <laughs> I just love this man. I just love him because because he just speaks the mind. I mean, um, Uncle, let's talk about culture first. Recently, there's a lot of people. Can I can I can I give a shout out to some of my friends who please, are who please, are? Please, please, oh, please. Oh yeah, I want to give a shout out to Ifwa Go 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 Bansa. I want to give a shout out to uh, Loris Dagadu, uh, who uh, is in Texas, and he. He runs a, a jazz radio station there, and he just tried to define for us what royalties mean. You know, mm. we have uh, Catherine Michelle, we have Robert Bedu, we have Sarah Craig Green, we have uh, God, so many people I can't even mention <laughs> all, but I mean, I just want everybody to know that I'm happy. Nana Bait Suaba, uh, you know, we have Nana Frimpong, Samuel Daniel, you know. Mabla Kwashi, <laughs> all my people are there. <laughs> Nana from Paul. So I'm happy that they're here. You know, they, they, they are that on the show. Good. Yeah. At least we've given some shout out. And at the same time, we have a lot of uh, people here as well. We have the likes of Key Mama, Johnny, Johnny Woods, Bennett Bannon, my mentor, my friend, my pops, uh, Benjamin Fuckman. That's one of the legends as well when it comes to engineering in Chicago. We have uh, uh, Junior Elgam. We have. Uh, Ashton, Oh, that's my old school friend. All the all uh, the back in the days in Association International, we have Eunice Cromwell, the superwoman, and also we have Nanaya Ofosu, and that is my friend. And then uh, um, Asama Daniel as well, and then Daniel uh, Kwame. Big up to all of you, and then please share the page. Let's have some fun today. is amazing day. We rubbing shoulders with a legend, <coughs> telling us how music is all about, and telling us how music is supposed to be in Ghana. And now we're going to talk about culture. Culture is one of the things that is we, 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 we've shifted a little bit. So we'll find out from the legend what culture is all about. Uncle. Yeah. Recently, about a few months ago, and you're still in that bracket, actually. Um, you've come out. I mean, looking at your old pictures and things like that, I, it seems like that is how you are. But now you've stepped out the game. But people, in their own mind, or their—I mean, that's their opinion—they think you are, uh, uh, you are, you are producing, or you are, you are supporting, or you are promoting uh, nudity by showcasing yourself and all this. I mean, tell us about it. I mean, why this type of uh, branding? Well, you know that, like I said, you know, a lot of Ghanaians are confused as to who they are. And you know they 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 think that they have to be a certain way, and uh, they forget their origins, you know. And the point is that whatever I've put out, it's not been uh, titillating. Okay, I don't I don't I don't promote nudity mm. for for sexual purposes or anything. We as a people, because of our natural environment, tend not to be overclad with clothing, okay? And we admire and appreciate the human body, okay? So if, if I dress to reflect my culture mm. and you think that that is promoting nudity, then you yourself, your mind is at the wrong place, okay? Because, I mean, nudity is part of us anyway. Mm. Underneath, underneath all that, all that clothing, <laughs> we are nude. <laughs> if you don't know, let me tell you. So, but it doesn't mean that we should, you know, like flaunt everything. But you do it in a tasty way. And you know, initially when those pictures came out, there was so much, you know, hue and cry. I was getting calls from all over the world. My relatives, my children, my everything. You know, my friends were all saying that what have you done? What have you done? But you know, now it's settled and people appreciate it. People actually trying to collect these pictures. Mm. Okay. And it's made, the shock was mainly because they didn't expect me. They had an image of me which didn't fit that. 
okay? Mm -hmm. But now I think they're beginning to accept that, you know, uh, my image is what I make it, not what they make it, okay? Mm -hmm. I have my own ideas, and I'm grounded in myself as a human being on this earth, understand where I come from, understand the roots that make me possible. Mm. And I respect and appreciate that, okay? If, if you can sit there today and not appreciate your grandparents and your forebears who have struggled and made it possible for you to be there today and you're looking down on them, then you are not a normal person. You are crazy. You are not, you're actually stupid, you understand? If, because uh, we can't blame everybody, but I think that the system has been aberrated so much, but that's why we, we you know, we, we have intelligence for, for you to, you know, sift through the shaft and be able to pick out what is good and what is right. Okay, not because they tell you every, they tell you that this is how things should be, this is how Europe is, so that's all you do. No, you say you are you are you are a full human being, you are independent, then show your metal from whence you came. Who the hell are you? Mm. Who the hell are you? Are you just a floating float stamp that just goes with the wind, or you are from a base? You are from a rich culture, you know, and now history is showing us that look, even Christianity was in Africa long before the, 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 the colonialists came. Mm. Okay, yes, so we have to study ourselves, we have to know who we are, and then we can project things properly. You know, we have to create a, a, a country that reflects us and our values. And we are very humane people. We welcome people, and then they come and abuse us. So that, that makes us stupid. If you trust somebody, and they use that trust to cheat you, does that make you stupid? No, it's because you are, you are human. And you, you, you think that other people will treat you as, you know, they want to be treated. But no, the world is not like that. We are learning the hard way, OK? And uh, I think that it's about time that we, we, we went back and did things the correct way. We cannot sit there in Ghana and say we're independent mm. and you know, be, uh, uh, use English as a lingua franca. How can you address a nation in English? How, have you, have, did you hear uh, <laughs> Buku Baku trying to sing the national anthem? Oh man, it's crazy. It, 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 it's just awful. How is it possible that we still insist that this is our national anthem? But, you know, like 80% of Ghanaians don't even know the words, and even if they know the words, they don't understand what it means. Mm. And a national anthem is supposed to be something sacred, something treasured, something that reflects, you know, your... your, that make your you? It's you. Empathy, yes. yes. You know, your, your love for your country. And people don't even understand it. The pledge is another whole matter. It's in English. You know, when we have songs like Yenarai Assassini, you know, which whenever you hear it, you feel, you, you know, you feel moved. You know, I know that it's in Chi, but it can be translated in every language that we have in Ghana. I mean, why do we sit there and denigrate our own? It's, it's sick. Mm. And, you know, th those people who promote that kind of outlook, they are sick and we should get rid of them. They're not reflecting us. They're trying to sell us down the drain. Mm. We should be ourselves. Yes. Wow. This is deep, uncle. This is really deep. I mean, <laughs> this is, I mean I, 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 before I, we, we, we go deeper, have you heard of this young man making a lot of waves in Ghana and, and even not in Ghana, but around the world. I mean, the Ghanaians are in Africa. I mean, uh, Avram Ben Moshe. Oh, yeah, I've, I've, I've heard of him, yeah. It seems like yeah. in the mind of Avram Ben Moshe right now, I mean, just the, the minute of truth that you, you, you put, I mean, it's, 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 it, it, to me, it seems like you're speaking the mind of Ben Moshe. And uh, I think the guy, that young man- I think he's, he's rather picking my mind. 
because the reason why, the, the reason why I, 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 I switched it that way because he's the one that came forward to, I mean, everybody's blaming, blaming him of a whole lot of things, but um, I think, uh, yes, we've lost some type of culture, some type of, uh, we've, we've lost some, some type of image. I, I mean, that's what I, I believe. When I saw your pictures and things like that, uh, people sent it to me, was like, oh, did you see Uncle uh, uh, Ben Branco? I mean, I said, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I saw the pictures. Initially, I was like, oh, wow. And then, it, it, of course, that bracket or that image that I know, or that, that person that I'm trying to figure it, I know, I said, oh, I'm going to have to do all this and things like that. But when I sit back, I realize that this is our culture. I mean, it's not doing anything bad, you know, wearing, portraying the Africanness. And, and, and that is beautiful. And now, People are just like when you look at some of the artworks and things like that. I go to art, uh, art, uh, what do you call it, shops and things like that. You see things like that. The only way you can see it is on on on, on drawing on billboards and things like that. But when you see a mentor doing it, it it's good. It's good. So hey, big up to yourself. And I I believe that you, you, you hey you have a fun, you have a, you, you you have a fine body. Why not? You can you can do what you want. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uncle, let, let's talk about let's talk about. Uh, uh, religion, religion. Then we talk about politics because there's a lot of questions that are here that people. Have, I mean, I would really love to you to answer. But uh, let's talk about our religion. Religion and culture have become something different. I mean, especially our religion in Ghana. The, 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 uh, tell us a little bit about your your belief. I mean, what do you believe in, and 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 how how do you see religion? Well, ever since I was a child. I noticed that uh, the normal traditional Ghanaians had a different religion from those who were uh, schooled, those who were who uh, you know uh, wanted to be Europeanized, they wanted, thought they were the civilized ones. They call the other people Umkrasifo. Mm. They call them uh, you know, but you know, um, I realized that. Even in the schools I went to, there was a lot of discrepancy between, you know, in the religion that uh, we're supposed to practice. Okay, but you know, what struck what strikes me most is that there's only one God. We are God. So how come that because of this one God, mm. there's so many fights, there's so many killings, there's all kinds of stupid things happening in this world, like we are some animals or something, fighting over what? Which, which definition of God is the correct one? Hmm. Okay? Now, what we should not forget, what should all, we should always maintain in our, in our, behind the back of our mind is that the way you worship your God is a reflection of your heritage. Okay? When they managed to take away your way of worship, which is part of your culture, then they are denaturing you. They're making you into something that you are not. They're making you lose yourself mm -hmm. because it's all about trade and money. In the final analysis, now you want to get married, you have to do a quiet wedding. You have to, everything that you want for the normal ceremonies of your life, is from outside your economy. Hmm. You understand? You have to wear a suit, white lace, champagne, you know, whiskeys, whatever, Bible, all that. But if you were to do a traditional marriage, everything that you require to fulfill that uh, uh, rite of passage is from within your own economy. So, you know, we should understand that this is a trick being perpetrated on us. Wow. God is God. If we worship God, because we, we revere God in, in our tradition, you know, even before you say, when you say, good morning, you greet, mm. we always defer to God. Our greatest symbol, a decrease symbol, is Jinyami, accept God. So we 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 don't even worship God in that funny way that 
uh, you go to worship on Sundays and then come back and be, you know, your naughty self. No. In everything we do, in our daily practices, in everything, we accept God. We're always conscious of God in everything we do. And there's no religion better than that. Mm. But we throw all this away because they come and deceive us. And because a few people can speak fluent English, they think they are better than the people who made it possible for them to be here today. That's, that's all, not only cross, it's stupid. It is very, very stupid. This is, this is a world. This world is, is a village, right? They say the world has become a village. Mm. But everybody has to bring something to the table. What do you bring to the table as an African, as a Ghanaian? You want to go and bring European stuff to the table? Are you European? Do they even respect you? And part of the reason they don't respect you is that because you want to be like them. Mm. Why do you want to be like them? If you want to go and negotiate with a British guy and you go wearing a suit, okay, he knows straight away that he has one over you because you want to be him. It means you don't even know who you are. So they can twist you any way they like. Okay? If, if, if you take a, a foreign religion, why? Because they have designed it, even though the religion, actually, Christian religion, actually is African in origin, they portray everything as white. Mm. They have the right images there in the Vatican, where the Virgin Mary is black, Jesus is black, but they portray it as white. So as soon as we accept this, we have already considered that we are inferior. And it's not only because, uh, it doesn't only affect us in the sense of uh, wanting to be somebody else. It affects us in our own conviction about ourselves. We feel inferior. Not that somebody is looking at us, mm. which is a whole separate game. You understand? Yes. You yourself, what is your conviction? Who the hell are you? Who are you? Do you know? Have you thought about it? What is your name? Is your name a borrowed name or does it reflect who you are and the people who, get, who made it possible for you to be here today? What does your name mean? It doesn't mean nothing if you're just trying to copy. You're blowing with the wind. We have to be real people. We have to be true to ourselves. Okay, and then people bring this stupid argument that then you should stop driving cars and using computers and smartphones. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, now we, they've proven that a lot of these inventions crowd were made by black people anyway. Yes. But the whites are great at monetizing stuff, commercializing, you know, and selling and making money out of it. But we do things for the love of humanity, for love of people. Okay, like love, God is love. That is the primary thing in life. That is Uncle Ben Bracco. <laughs> I mean, I'm just loving the conversation. I hope you guys out there are loving the conversation too. There's a lot of questions and there's a lot, a lot of comments as well. I'll read some of them and things like that. But I mean, time is very, very, you know, limited. So we try to dive in everything in it. But we'll take a commercial break, a musical break. When we come back, we will talk about politics in Ghana. NDC, MPP, NDC just announced their flag bearer of their, I mean, their, uh, whatever, you know, the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, second in command or uh, vice president, whatever. I mean, uh, a, a woman for the first time. I mean, it, it, it's, uh, I, I believe that is history. It has never happened before. So uh, we'll talk more about it. And then I mean, we'll talk a little bit more about our, our religious aspect and things like that, how the, the churches and then all these things are playing so much trick or part in Ghana. But let's take a musical break, well, a commercial break, I'm, I'm sorry. When we come back, we will rock shoulders and talk more about these issues. <laughs> Stay tuned, don't go nowhere. <laughs> Yeah. 
to advertise with us, donate sponsorships and suggestions. Email us at trendafricatv at gmail.com or call us on 773-312-0318 or 773-756-6678. Remember to also follow and like us as Trend Africa TV on Facebook so you can always catch us live. On Instagram as Trend Africa TV 123 or subscribe to our YouTube channel as Trend Africa TV. Baye, 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 kekele me. Yo, Ghana, worldwide, Africa. This is your boy King Jerry, the rhythm styler, Sankofa Hitmaker. I watch Trend Africa TV. Watch Trend Africa TV every Wednesday with Black Jesus. Charlie, Trend Africa TV, the best online TV worldwide. Rhythm style, bye. Baby, to win him some of my favor. My fist, I don't see fame, I know. Maybe I know, it'll be. What's up? This be your chocho mucho bless and you're live on Trend Africa. Keep watching it. Blessing the microphone, blessing your ears. Moonlight, loving. Hey yo, what's up people? This is boy Raskin Bobo One, Afrobeat, reggae dance artist in the UK. Keep on watching Trend Africa TV, the number one Facebook live show in the USA. When I say hot, you say fire. Everywhere you go, Afrobeat, reggae dancer taking over. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Check it out, y'all. Trend. What it do, my people? Is your boy Kingsley Ego B, aka King the Preacher, aka the Peacemaker. AKA the joy of the people is my peace of mind. You are now watching Trend Africa. Don't touch that dial. If you, eh, you won't touch her. Come on, you there. Keep watching Trend Africa. We are here. Africa has come to stay. Don't touch that dial. One love. Keep watching. Ratata. Hello, my name is Bosiji. Keep liking our page, Trend Africa TV. Subscribe. On YouTube, Trend Africa TV. Lovely people, Councillor Noy is my name, and I'm watching Trend Africa TV. Keep watching Trend Africa TV. God bless you, and I love you all. Yo, hello Ghana, hello everyone. This is your boy Hotel. Do you know something? We have so many channels in YouTube, but always the TV that I watch is Trend Africa TV. Trend Africa TV. So so and so, so so and so, Trend Africa TV, Chicago, very simple. I always watch that TV to entertain myself, to welcome good news and everything. After that, wild one, wild one, people of the world, I go by the name Mafia, aka Young Bass. I'm representing right now for Trend Africa TV, your number one online TV ever. Watch Trend Africa TV live on Facebook this and every Wednesday at 4 30 p.m. Ghana time and 11 30 a.m. Chicago time with your one and only Royal Black Jesus. I'm a Cecil. Bless her. Yo, my name is Hans Bex. You're watching me live on Trend Africa TV. Keep it locked. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. Clan, my sister, now people, so shall be papa rock this. The God M1. I mean, this. We love Royal Black Jesus too much. We live in Chicago. If you want to see him, follow him on Facebook. Pen the African TV and say Black Jesus. Man, I'm bad. I'm tell you, say, man, I'm too much. In Chicago, they love him too much. So, we want to follow him on Facebook. Pen the Africa. TV and check Black Jesus. Man, I'm bad and to realize no matter what I want, we have music. We have here. Papa wrote the golden boy message of Black Jesus. Long, long, so tired. people we are back again having fun rubbing shoulders with the legend mr ben Bracco is on the lock with me today we are having some fun uh today uh, we are diving in to know who mr ben Bracco is and also tell us what music is all about 
religion, politics, culture, I mean, all the Naya that he's there to make it happen for us. So share the page when you come when you come uh, on the log, share the page, make sure you tell a friend, let a friend, tell a friend, and tell somebody, tell somebody, tell, 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 tell somebody. Uncle, uh, Uncle, let's yeah. talk about our current policies that we are running in Ghana. But before that, let, let's talk about these uh, pastors and things like that in Ghana and all these um, miracles and pastors fighting each other. I mean, what is going on in Ghana? Have we, we've, have, have we lost who we are, like you were saying? Or is it of that, course we've that lost the, 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 the educational uh, I mean something is wrong please you've been an older man I mean a, a mature and experienced man I mean speak to me as, as, as you're talking to your son yeah well you're right as, as you can see something is very very wrong in Ghana and a lot of other African countries. And it's because we don't know who we are. And, you know, the system has been designed in such a way that the people in charge are people who have been indoctrinated to think that it is better to be European. Our whole constitution is foreign, okay? Our national language is foreign. Uh, the whole model of which we are taking to build our country is foreign. Okay, we follow the IMFs and all that, which are based on the American system, which is a system not designed for, to, you know, for all, for all human beings, but for the few privileged ones. And it doesn't work in a country like Ghana. We, 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 we are running as if we are running the country for other people, not ourselves. Mm. Okay, this is totally, totally wrong. And I don't know why we, 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 we don't see that it's wrong, okay? Because we don't even take the, the views and, and the, the perceptions of the normal people into account. Okay, in Ghana, even the constitution doesn't recognize the people who don't speak English, okay? It doesn't recognize people in, in the villages. It is only the people who can read the law and interpret it that the constitution caters for. Mm. That is totally wrong. Yes. What the hell are we doing? Mm. Mm. You know, running a system like that. You know, I mean, you were mentioning that, that, that the, the vice presidential uh, candidate okay. uh, yeah. for the uh, mm. uh, NDC mm. is a woman. And that is a fantastic thing. And you say that it is first in history. I'm telling you right here and now that it is not so. We have had great women in our history. Mm. We have had the Yaas and to us, we've had all these people who have led even the men into great things. We've had great priests and priestesses, okay, traditionally. So for us, women are a very important, integral part of our community and society. It is not as if you need a talking woman, okay, to make us look, or it, it should not be a gimmick. Having a woman as the vice presidential candidate should not be a gimmick. Okay. And I'm not saying that this is a gimmick, but people are acting as if it is uh, a, a new level that we've attained, okay? But in our tradition, women have been very, very strong, and they are the, our backbone all the time and we respect women with the way we consider motherhood it's unlike any other people okay we are the prime people of this earth and we don't even know that mm. and we are acting as if as if we are subhuman we ourselves and all this is being propagated and enforced by our own people who have been indoctrinated and this is wrong and somebody says something, and I agree totally with them, that until we have somebody, a traditional person, as the head of state leading the country, we're not going anywhere. Because all they are doing is trying to satisfy other people from outside, trying to make Ghana look good outside. But what about our internal people? 
Have you seen anybody come with a plan how to create new model villages? Have you seen that? How about all these homeless people? Is that part of the plan? Or it's just about building skyscrapers, scrapers, and you know, great interchanges and flyovers. Is that what Ghana is about? When people are suffering, can't get medical care, can't get anything. People are dying because they can't pay uh, uh, for for uh, drips. What what are we talking about? Okay, is is it about money? Because now you can become an MP if you have money. Okay, and therefore they come and they want to reap because they've invested. It is, is it a business running of Ghana? Is it a business? Wow. That's what we call legal, okay? And, and because legal, you know what legal means? It is written and it is enforced by the force of arms. But there's something called legitimate, which is what is right. We call, we, we have to have an oman and not a ban. A ban means a wall, it's a garrison. It is an enforced thing. It is not real. It is not ours. But when we say Oman, everybody is prepared to die for it. That is what we should have. We should have a head of state who, you know, if anybody touches them, the whole country, they will come and kill you. We protect that. Like they do, their Santa do to their Santa Hene, like the Evers do to their, their big chief. But if there's a precedent, nobody really cares to that extent because it is not us. What are we doing? And we talk about all this politics, all this politics, and people, we have MPs that are not responsible to the people. They don't even come from the area. They've never lived there. They don't understand the, 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 what, makes, what the people need, what, what makes them tick. They have money so they can come and lead us. What are we talking about? Mm. What, what are we doing? Are we serious? And when people insult us, we don't understand. Wow. Wow. This is deep. This is deep. Wow. <laughs> Uncle, uh, I know you're, 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 your pressure is high. It's, it's like you just want to pour everything down today. And I'm loving it. I'm just loving it. Um, you got to be real. You got, you got to be real. real. We just this is not an interview. I, I keep on telling people that, that I'm not going to interview Uncle because I, I'm not in that position to interview him. We are just having a conversation. <laughs> a young man talking to the legend to make sure that uh, was the way. I mean, tell me the way to go, and, and that's what we are doing here today. So when you come on the page, make sure you share the page and let's have some conversation. You can read. Uh, let me read talk, uh, a couple of comments that we have here. Uh, from Kimama, he says, the legend Ben Bracco watch out this virtual uh, performance on August 8, 2020 at Ghana Fest, New York. So I think there's something coming up for you, uh, uh, Uncle. And then Johnny Wilson oh, yeah. says, I mean, they'll, 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 see, they'll, they'll feel the energy. I know, I've, I've seen that. So I know how I handle <laughs> I I issues like that. Um, um, Johnny Wood says, uh, we really enjoy you at Ghana, uh, Chicago Ghana first. Thanks for keeping her life alive. So I mean, people like you guys, are, like I you. mean, keeping the our life alive. And for me, I, I would say I'm, I'm, I'm with my age. I'm, I'm in between the I'm, I'm the bridge between the old and new. I've seen your I've, I've I've listened to your type, and I'm listening to the new the new the new type as well. So uh, for me, I, I I if if I cannot pass on a good message to people are coming from me from behind me then i think we are totally lost so this type of interviews goes a long way for me um johnny was again says um uncle un uncle ben you said we haven't defined ourselves that is deep we are lost as a people like you said i mean uh that johnny was is also a legend here that support every movement that we do as young men over here he support us he's actually amazing young man I amazing um, 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 Ghanaian who lives in Chicago who actually support everything that we do. Um, my mentor, who is actually um, Bennett Biney, says, "So, Mister Mister uh, Mister Mister Ben, I know you are you are into you are into entertainment, but 
I am just curious. What's your take on mama choosing of a woman running mate? And secondly, when it's when it comes to new voters, uh, new voters uh, registra uh, registration, and in, in something like something, do you think um, uh, the thing just go? So I mean, I, I think he's talking about uh, mama choosing a, a woman as a running a running mate, and then also uh, yeah. the new the, the, the new voters ID. What, what's your intake on that? Well, the new voters thing is is part of the same tired. Uh, borrowed politics, okay? And, you know, you can see how it emanates from here, okay? Where there's gerrymandering, where people, the politicians are trying to redefine borders and uh, qualification for voting based on something that will favor them. They lie and they cheat to be in power. This is not what we are about in Ghana, mm. Okay. This is not what we're about because uh, the MPP thinks that people come from outside to help put uh, the NDC in power. So they're trying to create a new register and, and uh, they've sent soldiers to all the borders, apparently, to make sure that it's only Ghanaians. You know, I don't, I don't know about that because uh, if <laughs> it's, it's very tenuous, they won't accept birth certificates it's very difficult to, you know, it's all part of uh, schemes and machinations, okay? And I'm not saying that it's just MPP. It, the, the, the duopoly that we have of NDC and MPP, they are both wrong. Mm. They are both wrong. When, they, when, when, when somebody is aspiring to be our president, what is his message? What is he telling us that he wants to do? What kind of Ghana does he want to build? Are, are we going to be taught our culture and our history and know who we are? Or are we going to still be learning about foreign cultures and then aspire to be foreigners? Are we going to be proud of ourselves? Are we going to know our heroes? Eh? Mm. Will, will we take pride in who we are and what we are? No. How are they going to change the village scene? The village is the root of everything in a country like Ghana. Mm. Is it part of their plans? What about healthcare? Very, very simple things we can do. We don't need anybody. But, you know, it's all about money now. So for me, this whole party politics, the so-called democracy, even in America, is failing. You can see people becoming president and they didn't even win the popular vote. <laughs> it's all schemes. <laughs> I mean, what the hell are we doing? Copying things that, you know, First of all, are not of us, and secondly, they don't even work with our philosophy of life. Mm. So wow. the whole thing is wrong. We have to retrench go, go and be who we are, and then yes, and take our culture and then modernize it and create with all our knowledge now, create the most beautiful system in the world. Already is the is the most our tradition is the most democratic system in the world, and the whites themselves who came out said so. But it doesn't serve them for us to practice it. So they've tried to, you know, abuse our minds and let us convince us that it's no good. Mm. They know our religion is the best because it's not something, an institution that you go to and come from. You live it. It's like our music. You live it every day as you're working, as you're praying, as you're, as you're sweeping, as you're, as you're making love, everything. You have to do it with everything that you are, that you have, your music, your God is, is part of you. It's part of our day-to-day -day living. This is us. We are human beings. We are humane people. Okay? Wow. We are hospitable people. Wow. We know that another human being is our brethren. Mm. Mm. There's one comment that um, uh, Jonas Cromwell, the superwoman in Chicago, says, good, good, good day, Mr. Bracco. Nice to see and hear from you. That is, uh, and then and Estina Allen says, Hi, Uncle Ben. Uh, we have Fer uh, Farid Atta said, Ask him about his album coming up. Wow, <laughs> that, uh, Uncle, you're hiding something from me. Now, something just 
Somebody just let me know there's something cooking. There's something that is coming out. My hands are clean. Look at my hands. I'm not hiding nothing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, um, yeah. um uh, let, 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 let's, let's t tell us a little bit about this. Let, let's talk about your, your, your new uh, album and then we'll talk about the, the, the one that you dropped before last year, somewhere last year. I love that music. And I'll yeah. Play. Um, well, yeah. Tell, I mean, how do you see the four years of, I mean, almost four years of Nana? I mean the MPP party, what they've done, and I mean your your your, your intake. Your, 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 what's your view? On look, that? look, it's all part of the same pattern. There's no difference. They're all working to a limited agenda, okay? And it is not our agenda. I don't care whether it's the MPP or the NDC or whatever, okay? If it is not based on our tradition and culture, it is wrong. Mm. Okay, it is foreign based and doesn't address our issues. Like I said, how many of of the people have? Like, what is their dream? Is 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 their dream in to create something beautiful and wonderful based on our tradition? Do they just want to build a Hollywood in Ghana, or they want to build something based on our own architecture and the finest and the beauty of our art? And, and our creativity, okay? We have something. Where is it? Where is it? Our 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 leaders should be aware of that, okay? Our leaders should be aware of that. If they relegate our culture to a small ministry, then they got it wrong. It should be a part and parcel of everything we do. This is how we are. We live. The complete life, okay? We cannot hide who we are behind a bushel and pretend to be other things. That's then right. we are hypocrites. Mm. You know, you know, we we we, we, mm. we are really stupid people. Mm. If that's how we, we we're doing, and that's how we're doing, how come we can't see that we say we are independent, okay? And and uh, you know everything we do, we're copying from other other cultures. So, I mean, let's get it straight that this kind of politics is not serving us and it's going to end up you know, uh, in tears. Mm. If we don't change, if we don't recognize our own people, okay? If we do not recognize our own people. Look look at the big change that came into Ghana in the media when uh, uh, they started using key in on the radio. Right. Yes. It was a big, massive change. Yes. Suddenly, people were engaged with radio because they could understand what the hell was being said. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it was a foreign thing. They were speaking English. They say, the 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 people say, ah, many are real. So I mean, real bluffful. So <laughs> it's nothing to do with you. Okay. <laughs> eh. Mm. So, are, you, are, are, you, are you in support of, for me, I, I, I've been the advocate of that person to change our, our, change the mindset of we using foreign language. We have to find our language. I mean, we've lost our language. So are you in that bracket of saying that English of language course. is not the thing? No, it's not the thing. It is not ours. We can't express ourselves. We can't even talk to ourselves in English. Mm. Because, you know what? 96% of the business in Ghana is done in Chi. In ah. every country, they adopt the most common language as the lingua franca. Not that they forget about the other languages. Yes. In every, every community, they have to preserve their language and use it. But for communication across, it's far easier to deal in a common language that is part of our locality. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You know, somebody will tell you that, oh, that uh, 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 she is as foreign to them as uh, English. That is rubbish. That is rubbish. Okay? That's rubbish. Yeah. In China, they have thousands of languages, but they use one, Mandarin. Yes. Okay? Even, even, even in England, yeah. they have killed off the other languages, That's the true. Celtic, you know, yeah, it's only English. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
but we don't have to kill off other languages. We, we, why, why would we want to do that? Everything contributes to the to the potpourri of the greatness of, of our people. Mm. Okay, but we have to be able to communicate in the land. This is, you see, that the sad thing is that these things are real and happening. We have the chieftaincy and our people and elders running the country in the rural areas where there's no police station, there's no courts, mm. when there's issues, mm. it's settled. It is there, it is happening, it is real, but we act as if it's not there because we, some people control the power for. Uh, outsiders. What kind of nonsense is that? Wow. Can't we be real? Wow. Eh? Wow. Man, I, Can't I, we I think, be I think real? We have, we, have, we have to have you another time. I mean, just just to talk about issues like that, because I, I, I can believe you have a lot in your sleeve that you want to pour it down today. Um, let's talk about your, your uh, I mean, because of time, I'm just trying to rush things out and a little bit. I'm sorry about viewers and uh, people are just enjoying your conversation. Um, let, 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 let's talk about your music. I mean, let's go back. I mean, I mean, I know we, we, we went, we, we talk about your music, we jump into different, different things, and then we are back on music again because that's that is the reason why we are here. But hey, uncle, I've been I've been around the block for a long time, so hey, why not ask certain questions and things like that? Um, your new music is coming out. I, I mean, somebody just uh, uh, texted me or put on a, a platform that uh, you, you, there's something coming up, but before that, let's talk about. Um, the, the 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 brand new one that you you did with um, uh, Asen. Um, yeah, that, that, there is a, a that is why I love her life. I mean, when you listen to her life, there is a storyline to it. There is something that I mean will advise you for something. Will will tell you something. I mean, this is what I, this is, for me. This is what I call I, I call God is speaking to you. He's speaking to us in different ways, and music is one of the things. Um, uh, tell us about that music, that particular music. Yes, Shame and Scandal. Um, it is actually um, a traditional Trinidadian song, originally. Okay, It's been done in so many covers. But I know that it is originally a Ghanaian and African song. Okay? Mm. And so I, I've done it in her life. And for all intents and purposes, from all the comments I've, I've heard, it is the best version of that song ever. Okay? And you know something? Uh, my version, <laughs> you know, actually was top of the global music charts for over five weeks with the greatest number of votes from people I don't know from Adam. Wow. We had a lot of votes from Egypt, from Senegal, from East Africa. That I don't, they're not in my purview of connections mm. on the social media. Okay. Even from North Africa, from Japan, we had so many votes. Okay. So it shows you that her life has a great potential. And we have to bring her life to the world. That is part of our mission. Okay, so we, we, you know, we work hard, but you have to work hard. You, you have to break barriers. You have to work to very high standards. And, you know, get rid of mediocrity mm. and go for excellence. Yes. Wow, wow. That's what we need. I'll play that music, yeah. and then I'll, I'll, I'll let people just enjoy the music. I mean, I, I, for me, I, I've played it many times. Since last year, when you drop it and you, you send me the music, I've been just loving it. And... Uh, when 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 I invite when I send you the email that hey uncle I want you to come on board and things like that and you you say okay no problem I'll come because of you I'll make it I'll make it time for you I was like man I'm blessed so let's let's do this music and then uh, let's people enjoy and then we'll talk more about the the, the new uh, project that you have coming okay. That's a go, go, go. Papa was a rolling stone. Damn, I hate that song. Ben Brock on the A S E M. Way the father and son. Papa was a rolling stone. Damn, I hate that in song. In the second year town, there was a family with much confusion, as you would see. It was a mama and a papa and a boy who was grown. He wanted to marry, have a wife of his own. He found a young girl. That suited him nice 
He went to his papa to ask his advice Papa said son, I have to say no This girl is your sister but your mama don't know Cook in the town he did find He went to his papa to name the day His papa shook his head and to him he did say You can marry that girl, I have to say no This girl is your sister but you mama don't know Just found out she's late That's why we getting married Lord knows I'm a man of faith But I really hope she miscarries Cause I can't have a son who's a nephew And I can't have a niece who's a daughter Confused, don't know what to do When I'm staring at the ring that I bought her How do I tell my wife to be That she's also my sister How do I wipe the memories Of all the time that I kissed her Now you telling me to remain calm Telling me that I can't tell mom Papa was a rolling stone Damn I hate that song He went to his mama And covered his head And told her all What his daddy had said Mama she laughed She said Go man go Your daddy ain't your daddy But your daddy don't know Yeah Masimini Okay I did I need to name you Masaba Mebusu Over that Kembu Masimini A-S-E-M-I Shame and scandal. Papa no fi handle. Uncle Ben uh, um, actually uh, explained. So, Uncle, this storyline, there's a secret in the family that you yourself, the, the, I mean, tell us. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think that we should know that as Africans and as Ghanaians, mm. we don't have what they call the concept of bastard. Okay? Mm. We don't have because all human beings are equal. All our blood is equal. Any any offspring, because we are human, we understand our human inclinations. So we accept a lot of things because that's what makes us human beings. Okay? Uh -huh. So uh, we, we talk about various things. We try to you know emulate European lifestyles and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we know at the bottom of it, at the end of it, that we are Africans, we are Ghanaians, and you know we live and let live. Okay, mm. uh, we don't impose ourselves on people. We we just try to live a happy, contented life. That's why you can find children, very poverty-stricken children, but they are so happy, you won't believe it. Yes, you have very rich people who are so sad. And you know, even when when they look like they are enjoying, it's because they are trying to throw it in everybody's face. It's not because they are really enjoying what they are doing, mm. but they're trying to look like they are happy. That's a big difference. Wow. Okay. Wow. So that's where the shame and scandal is. Wow. 
<laughs> it's deep. It's deep. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm still learning. I'm still a baby. I'm still. I'm still on the bottle, man. Yeah, but that's that last. That's last year's news. Now this year. That's a new new stuff. Yes, we have we have a new track called Adoma, and it's a love story. And I tell you, I wrote this song many many years ago, and it was about the ideal love that I wanted in my life. Okay, and uh, I hadn't met the woman that I want to share my life with. I met so many good people, but when it comes to somebody you want to share your life with, I think that it has to be a bit special. Wow. So before I met the person, I knew what I wanted. Let's just put it that way. Wow. And it happens that the person is also called Aduma. Strange, isn't it? It's as if I could prophesy. <laughs> so, 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 Uncle, are you going to tell me that the Aduma is the, is, is the better half that you have now? Because it seems like you guys cannot tear apart. I mean, this is you, you and our wife and, uh, I mean, the pictures and things like that. It seems like you are talking, you are talking about her right now. To me, I mean, that's how I feel. So, uh, one plus one is two, right? I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> okay. So, what, what, when are we going to expect this, uh, this very track coming out? I mean, this very album? Yeah, it's, we're, we're releasing it at the end of this month. Okay. Okay. At the month, we've done the video, everything, but because the COVID happened, we had to wait and, you know, watch how the system was going. But we decided to release it, you know, now, and uh, you know, just start pushing it. Nice. So hopefully, yeah, it's a beautiful track. But then that's me saying it. So I'm, I'll wait till you say it's nice. My, do my, do my doors are open. Right. So anytime you drop, another guy is there for you. <laughs> yes, you mean a festival? Don't worry. <laughs> No, Uncle, one, thing that I want, one more thing. One more thing that I wanted to ask. One more question that before you give us your last word. In your days, one thing I've realized that you guys never do collabs. Like you guys never come. Like you never did a song with Nana Two Four or I mean a Caribbean Tree and that match the days and things like. Why? Well, it, there were a few collabs, but it was very rare. It wasn't the norm. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't more, almost acceptable, you understand? It wasn't part of the purview. It wasn't part of the territory. We, we didn't really uh, think, even think about that, okay? Mm. But, you know, we were very close friends as musicians, you know? We had very, very great, you know, camaraderie, you know, between us without trying to, went together as you know on one track and that kind of thing even though there were quite a few of them mm. okay but uh right now it's like very trendy to have collabos you know but in our time it wasn't and i'm, I'm doing a lot of collabos now because even uh the one you just played i had a sem on it right uh yeah the one coming out i have a guy called papa flavor okay okay uh Ghanaian rapper who lives in australia you know, and you know, I mean, it has to be good. It has to make sense. It has to work. You know, I don't like this business of rhyme without reason. Right. You know, and like you see how Assem did the rap on Shame and Scandal. It, it, it fits in. It makes sense. Yeah. And it still rhymes. And that is that is what the essence of it is about. It's about prose. Okay. So uh, for me, it has to work. And I've I've, I've done work with. I've done a lot of work that I haven't released. You know, I've worked with Ochami Kwame. You know, uh, I've worked with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, D Crime. Nice. I've done work with uh, D Black. You know, uh, you know, they'll be coming out. I'm the, but... I mean, I, I mean, the young men are keeping you young. Now I see where the young is coming from. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm keeping them young. <laughs> I don't want to see where the young is coming from. I 
young is coming from because you're you you, you, you rubbing shoulders with a young man, so you try to tell them, hey, I, I still got it. Man. No, 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 no. The young men want to rub shoulders with me because because they know I'm young at heart. That's that's <laughs> I can I can relate to them. Yes. The, the young men want to rub shoulders with the OG, and that I mean the original, you know, uh, you know, Godfather. So there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'm amazing, amazing, man. I'm, yeah. I'm so glad. I'm so happy. It's it's just a beautiful conversation that we we just had. Um, uh, Uncle, tell us your last words, and then, and then, um, um, you know, any advice or, um, you know, and, and, no, before that, I, I, I nearly forgot. Give me your <laughs> best, your best high life musicians that of all time. Hey, I mean five. I need five. I need five. I just I, I need five. That's very very difficult. But uh, we've had different different eras, and you know uh, different champions within the eras. So it's very very difficult. So if I mention some, it's not because others are not good enough, but it's what comes to my mind at this time. This is right. a surprise question. Okay. But I will mention people like uh, Pat Thomas. What? Pat Thomas. You know Pat Thomas? Yes. Golden Voice of Africa. Yes. I'll mention people like Pat Thomas. Um, I think somebody like Kofi Kinata is a break. Okay. You know, yeah, I think that he's, he's very good. Um, let me see. Uh, I would mention uh, someone like Nana Tufo posthumously because his music had the authentic, attractive thing in it yeah. and yet was modern enough and still very high life. Mm. Okay, you have to exemplify that. Then I'll mention CK Man. That's four already. You said yeah. five, right? Yes. And then I mentioned myself, Ben Braco. Okay. Well, my last word is very simple. I say that there's only one life, mm. and you have to examine your life, and you have to live your life with passion, as if there's no tomorrow, because. Mm. That is what God expects of you. That the, this moment, and if you're able to keep your passion within any moment, that is what they call everlasting, because the moment will never go away. There will always be the moment. Yes. And just stick with the moment, and you'll be, you'll be forever. <laughs> like I'm having a moment today. I mean, there's always going to be a moment. And yeah, gonna... it's the only reality. This is the only the thing that is real. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Uncle, thank you so much. I mean, um, this is a moment. I mean, like you said, cherish the moment. And there's always going to be a moment. This is a word. I mean, uh, yes. And then <clears throat> this moment is, I will cherish it for a long time. It's a, it's a blessing. It's, it's an honor to have you on board you. And, and to have a conversation with you. I mean, to just talking with you is just amazing. I mean, um, a lot of people on the platform are enjoying your conversation. I mean, uh, it's amazing. Um, hopefully... If the new drop comes out, uh, Trend Africa will get to know. And then maybe, just maybe, you give us your time so that we'll bring you on board and we'll talk about it again. Uh, but for now, thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you. Thank there's you very music, much. Thank there's you. There's one more music I want to play. And it's, um, uh, I think it's, uh, I forgot, I think it's Baya. <laughs> Ete, Ete. Ete, Ete. Okay, this is good. This, I mean, that, and, and this is under the album, uh, this is under the, uh, it's with the, the, the Bayer collection, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's this is the this. first track of Bayer. Oh, this comes from Bayer, right? Yeah, okay. it's the first track of Bayer, and it's a very, very definitive song. 
Okay, Uncle, tell us, tell us about it. Tell us about that that very song. I mean, you, because I I, I read. Okay, it, I, yeah, tell us about it. Etre is Etre is a god in Cape Coast. Yeah. You know, there are ninety nine gods in Cape Coast, but these are not gods. These are like you know symbols of of shrines. Okay. The white people tell us that they are our gods, but they are not our gods. They are our shrines through which we worship God. Mm. Okay, so it say, but we are calling upon it say to come and to save us from our foreign influence. I think we are getting the feedback from from there. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. The white people tell us that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it says that more brother. Say pity you, a bob barbary, what possible so, and some able who walk at Sia Aye, or say Bob Perwinim, Shamaye, a vessel woo he, Shamaye, our and Yeni, I will say, This is what I request from your son. I want a capella on that very soon, that very, that very tune. Well, if you can play it to my hearing, then I can sing with it because over here is delayed. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But can you give us, can you give us just without the, without the, 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 the awesome. yeah. In your ma brawa, bopa prewa puso puso. Ahore be hu pa si haye. Bopa we him shemaye. Beshu wu hi shemaye. I went yet to be in your brood. In your tap and dana, but when you are shaved, you see more. A honey bear who took belly. I want then John Iyer. A bad ten week, I'm a win, you know. If you saw. That I won't hold that. I was a one for four. Ah, all right, let's listen. It's a yay, bro. Oh, man, this is really a moment. Yeah, Casa. This is really, yeah, Casa. Wow, wow, wow. So, hey, viewers, I mean, this is what it is, man. We're gonna end the show by listening to a twist by my man, my original, my OG, my godfather, my friend, my pops. Amazing man who actually believe that you got to be yourself. Don't be fake. And that is what this man is preaching. So let's do it and see how far we can go. We got to know ourselves. And knowing ourselves is to know our culture. Knowing our culture is to tell people who we are. And that is exactly what Mr. Ben Bracco does. Big up to you, Uncle Ben. And happy yourself. Tomorrow is not promised. This is a moment for me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Music Awards USA Who Gets Nominated? Are you ready? Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the organizers of the Ghana Music Awards USA are set to host the virtual nominees announcement for the 2020 awards as we patiently await the biggest night in the history of Ghanaian music. The official nominees announcement for the Ghana Music Awards USA comes off live on Kofi TV and its affiliate media partners on 11 July 2020. Time is 7 p.m. GMT. Performing live, when you shake. SP Kofi Sapo. Article 1. Them say we know they do nothing. But then they like our thing. Divorce GH. Ponzer. Attentive Care Incorporated. Happy Man Bitters. Gold Coast Restaurant and Bar. TBWA Maccom. KTA Mobile. Van Dosh, Rhythm Africa, Angel Broadcasting Network, Accra Metropolitan Assembly, McDonald's and T Mobile, American Embassy, supported by Ghana Embassy, Media Partners, Kofi TV, Despai Media, Accra FM, Magrahe, Big Scout TV, Creative House, Media General, Home Base TV, Airborne Mix. The Ghana Music Awards USA, who gets nominated? This event is brought to you by Dawn's Music Production, High Life Media, and 2G's Entertainment. Ghana Music Awards 2020, celebrating our culture, music, and our stars. Are you looking for photography service for your upcoming event? Is it a wedding, an engagement, or a special event? Look no further. Jojo Texan Images is here. Hire him today for great quality pictures, a quality service provided on the day, and a great personality. Jojo Texan Images is on social media. Follow him Instagram and Facebook at Jojo Texan Images or call him 312 450-5235 and book your appointments today. Jojo Texan Images. Simply, simply excellent. Book him now. Baby, to win him some of favor. My fissure of Sifi Mano. Ebi ano ebi. What's up? This be your chocho mucho bless and you're live on Trend Africa. Keep watching it. Blessing the microphone, blessing your ears. Moonlight, loving. Baye, 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 kekele mi. Yo, Ghana, worldwide, Africa. This your boy King Jerry, the rhythm styler, Sankofa hit maker. I watch Trend Africa TV. Watch Trend Africa TV every Wednesday with Black Jesus. Charlie, Trend Africa TV, the best online TV worldwide. Read him style, bye. Hey yo, what's up, people? This is boy Raskin Bobo One, Afrobeat, reggae dance artist in the UK. Keep on watching Trend Africa TV, the number one Facebook live show in the USA. When I say hot, you say fire. Everywhere you go, Afrobeat, reggae dance, taking over. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Check it out, y'all. Trend. Yo, this is Atagana boy. Keep watching Trend African TV. This your boy, Chef Yeah boy. You already know, man. Trend African TV is the way to go. Boss man, Kobe, man. Trend African TV, we live. What it do, my people? It's your boy, Kingsley Ego B, aka King the Preacher, aka the Peacemaker, aka the Joy of the People. Is my peace of mind. You are now watching Trend Africa. Don't touch that dial. If you you want touch her? Come on, you there. Keep watching Trend Africa. We are here. Africa has come to stay. Don't touch that dial. One love. Keep watching. Ratata. Clean me, sister. Now we want to show you Papa Rock this. The God M1. I need this. We love royal practices too much. We live in Chicago. If you want to see him, follow him on Facebook. 
Then the African TV and say black Jesus. Man up bad every time you say man up too much and check out the low and too much. So we want to follow him in few years. Then the Africa TV and check black Jesus. Man up bad and to realize no matter what I want, be it a music, you go here. Papa Road and go and go and miss some black Jesus. Slam down so tired. Wild one, wild one, people of the world. I go by the name Mafia, aka Young Bass. I'm representing right now for Trend Africa TV, your number one online TV ever. Watch Trend Africa TV live on Facebook this and every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Ghana time and 11.30 a.m. Chicago time with your one and only Royal Black Jesus. I'm a Cecil. Bless her. Hello, my name is Bossiji. Keep liking our page, Trend Africa TV. Subscribe on YouTube. Trend Africa TV. Yo, hello Ghana, hello everyone. This is your boy Hotel. Do you know something? We have so many channels in YouTube, but always the TV that I watch is Trend Africa TV. Trend Africa TV. So so and so. So so and so. Trend Africa TV. Chicago. Very simple. I always watch that TV to entertain myself too. Welcome, good news and everything. After the Trend Africa TV, the next TV you can watch is Otele TV GH. Otele TV GH. For more information, bless you. Yo, my name is Hans Bex. You're watching me live on Trend Africa TV. Keep it locked. Ooh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. To advertise with us, donate sponsorships and suggestions. Email us at trendafricatv at gmail.com or call us on 773-312-0318 or 773-756-6678. Remember to also follow and like us at Trend Africa TV on Facebook so you can always catch us live. On Instagram as Trend Africa TV 123 or subscribe to our YouTube channel as Trend Africa TV and click on the notification button to watch previous shows. You can also visit our website for your African news, entertainment, fashion, and sports updates on www.trendafricaonline.net. Trend Africa TV, redefining Africa. <laughs>